Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of unit conversions. This is standard 5.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 7 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have the length of two insects, and it's not that long here. We've got a ladybug is 10 millimeters. We've got a walking stick, 30 centimeters. We need to find the difference. Well, the difference, we've learned that the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So we just need to subtract 10 millimeters and 30 centimeters. But we need to do that in millimeters. And before we just say, oh, 30 minus 10 is 20, hold on just a second. We've got two different units here. We've got millimeters and centimeters. And if we try to subtract those two just the way it is, that's like trying to take three apples away from 18 oranges. Totally different units. We need to do a little bit of unit conversion to make sure we're dealing with the same unit. How do we do that in the metric system? We go back to our good old friend, King Henry. So, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Think of your PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The King Henry is a mnemonic that we use to try to keep in mind all of the different unit conversions that we can do in the metric system. Because the metric system is based on tens. And so it, we can use it as another way of thinking of place value. So King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. All right, so let's start here. So by, this is going to be our base unit. I always start here because this is kind of like our ones place. It's right going to be in the middle. So this is either going to be our grams, this is going to be our liters. In this case, we're going to be dealing with meters because we're dealing with length. So King Henry died. So he died by drinking chocolate milk. So this, this gets us our three prefixes that are a little bit bigger. So we've got the kilo, and that's like your 1,000. And then we've got the hecto, which we don't use very often. That's your hundreds place. And then we've got the deca, which we really don't use that much. That's like the tens place. So this base unit is like your ones place right here. And then when we get a little bit smaller, these are the ones we're a little bit more used to. King Henry died by drinking. We've got chocolate milk. So this is your deci, and this is like your tenths, so call it 0 0.1. This is your centi, so we know centimeters. This is like one hundredth, and this is your millimeters, milliliters, milligrams, whatever it is. This is your thousandths place. So you notice that we start with the same letters. King for kilo. Henry for hecto, died for deca. The B means base. It's going to be gram, liter, or meter. D, drinking for deci. Chocolate for centi. And then we get the M for milli. So how does this work? Well, first let's take our ladybug. So our ladybug is going to be 10 millimeters. You see that ones place right there? That one's place in the millimeter, that zero needs to land in the millimeter spot because that's in the one spot. So here is my millimeter spot right here. So I'm going to put right here, this is your 10 millimeters because we've got that zero and that millimeters. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that 30 centimeters on top of that. So we've got 30 centimeters. So what digit is in the one's place? still going to be that zero, but I'm going to put that in that zero in the centimeter spot, the center spot, so it goes right there. So if I'm going to build it like this, I need to find it in millimeters. Well, guess what? This 30 centimeters is worth 300 millimeters. So now I need to take away 300, take away 10. Visually, that's a little bit easier to see. Now we can see that if we subtract this two, we are going to get 290 millimeters.